In this episode, OpenAI's Orion. What do we know about it? When Starship packing for Mars? And the Chinese are showing off their airplane that flies four times the speed of sound. This and more, right here, right now. Let's get it. OpenAI clearly wants to maintain its presence in the news cycle, constantly generating news. So now Sam Altman decided to speak out about the fact that his company can develop the holy grail, general artificial intelligence. According to Sam, his company already has everything to create AGI. The only thing missing is the $7 trillion in investment and a few years to build 36 semiconductor factories and additional data centers. Basically, the entrepreneur's message is that he needs more money and then someday he will create general AI. Nothing, zilch, not a sentence about humanity as the company is keeping its eye of the tiger on profit margins. Previously, and you might have heard this, OpenAI has launched its AI search engine ChatGPT Search. And while the media instantly launched speculation that Google's dominance is over, reality is not as rosy. So far, ChatGPT Search does not handle prompts well that are less than four words. It can tell a lie about weather forecasts and it struggles to produce short and accurate answers. OpenAI is working on it, but for now, Google is on top. At the same time, the company is getting more and more commercialized. Get this, there's reports that OpenAI is entering the smart glasses market. Why else would the company hire former Meta AR glasses team leader Caitlin Kalinowski? She'll reportedly head OpenAI's robotics and consumer hardware division. And by the way, Sam Altman recently stated that all rumors about OpenAI developing and launching a new Orion artificial intelligence model in December are fakes. Earlier, The Verge dropped the ball, saying it will allegedly be a hundred times more powerful than GPT-4. However, when refuting it, Altman didn't specify whether the Orion project itself is a fake or only its launch date. And here's a bit of a fly in the ointment, namely a group of researchers from Cornell University, the University of Washington, and other universities ganging up on Whisper. It's OpenAI's transcription tool. Whisper translates voice to text and is often used in medical practice, among other things. However, the fine, upstanding gentleman from the big leagues found that Whisper quote-unquote hallucinates by writing down fabricated and sometimes offensive information. Errors were found and 8 out of the 10 samples checked. At the same time, in 1% of the cases, the model simply hallucinates, adding its own quote-unquote thoughts. Many a hospital are not thrilled about this. Let's wait and see what Altman has got to say about it. Moving on, another Chinese robot has learned to walk like a human. By the way, this is the machine's premiere. Meet the SE-01, humanoid robot from Engine AI Robotics. According to the developers, the Android got an advanced end-to-end -end neural network under the hood. The team used both reinforcement learning and learning through imitation, which allowed the robot to learn how to move smoothly and energy efficiently. The SE-01 is equipped with two processors from NVIDIA and Intel, as well as three sets of high-precision stereo cameras that support an advanced visual neural network system. This hardware combination allows the robot to process visual data in real time. Engine AI is also known to have used airspace-grade aluminum alloy in the SE-01's frame, giving the robot a strong and lightweight body. This choice of material increases the robot's durability and extends its lifespan, which will be important in future industrial applications. What do you guys think about this thing? Let us know in the comments. Deep Robotics got everyone riled up again. They usually make robot dogs, but today they're releasing a humanoid. What's going on? Meet DR01. It can walk at a speed of 5 feet or 1.6 meters per second, climb steps and even hills. The design doesn't look as elegant as their competitors, but the developers insist that the robot's main feature will be its advanced AI. More on that to come, so sign up to Pro Robots to get the latest updates. 
And since we're on the topic of Chinese companies, Space Transportation has unveiled Yongxing, a supersonic civilian aircraft capable of reaching Mach 4. In the future, this airplane should reduce the flight time from Beijing to New York to two hours. So get ready for 2027, folks. It's yet to be confirmed, but it's possible that Yongxing will be at the China Air Show, which is kind of like Oshkosh. We'll keep you posted. That's not all, folks. Chinese scientists have developed a large language model capable of conducting highly effective coordinated drone strikes against enemy radars and communications. It's reported that the new AI is similar in structure to GPT and shows superior results compared to traditional AI and even experienced militaries. The developers claim that the tech effectively coordinates swarms of drones. And this is the first, but obviously not the last, application of large language models for weapons control. What else do we know about this technology? It's reported that the AI was trained exclusively on specialized data, which excludes the entry of unreliable information. Specifically, Chinese developers used operational materials, strategic manuals, electronic warfare textbooks, electronic weapons manuals, and military journals. In electronic warfare, UAVs suppress enemy radars using electromagnetic waves. To quickly adapt to change, scientists combine various methods. Sensor data is analyzed by a reinforcement learning model, which feeds information to a language model for decision making. This allows the system to instantly change strategy up to 10 times per second and create false targets on radar. There are limitations, however. The system can't process 3D data due to high computational costs and only works with a limited number of image frames. So there's still a lot of work to be done, but a start has been put. And Elon Musk spoke at the FII Institute event in Riyadh. In brief, he summarized the work of all his companies and talked about the nearest plans for the future. SpaceX. The company has proven that its bold idea of catching rockets with chopsticks, as the Mechazilla Tower is popularly nicknamed, works. Which means that the idea that you can catch a massive Starship Super Heavy Booster and have it ready for a new launch in a couple of hours could also be a reality. This would revolutionize the space industry again, crash launch prices by weight again, and lay the groundwork for Musk's ultimate lifelong goal of building a sustainable human colony on Mars. That said, Elon has stated that he intends to send a couple of unmanned Starship drones to Mars as early as the next launch-friendly Martian window, which is expected to be in 26 to 27 months. And if all goes well, in another two years, people will fly to the red planet. Tesla. The company rolled out an entertaining show starring Cybercab, Robovan, and Optimus. Its outcome is actually questionable, but things will change if the company abides by the plan to introduce autonomous robotaxis. According to Musk, Cybercab will raise the company's value to $5 trillion, and when Tesla moves from limited production of the Optimus robot, currently 2025, to mass production, the company's valuation will rise to $25 trillion. Do you think the entrepreneur's plans will come true? Neuralink. The company successfully implanted the chip in their second patient and announced that it's actively developing a device that returns sight to even those who have never had it. Boy, are they going to be surprised. Meanwhile, XAI created the world's most powerful supercomputer cluster for artificial intelligence training, Colossus. They did this by building infrastructure and connecting 100,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs in an incredible 122 days. The company now has more GPUs at its disposal than Google AI, OpenAI, Microsoft, or, for that matter, NVIDIA itself. And Musk says it'll have twice as much processing power within a few months thanks to 50,000 additional H200 GPUs. As a result, the company will have a serious shot at making its Grok AI model something beyond OpenAI's GPT framework. But whether this will become a reality in practice is impossible to say right now. What do you guys think? Let us know in the comments. 
And finally, a large-scale street show by Company Law Machine took place in Toulouse. This is the second episode of the so-called Urban Opera. The first one took place in 2018 and was called The Guardian of the Temple. The new show is called Guardian of the Temple Gates of Darkness. It brought back to the streets of the city not only the old heroes, the Minotaur, Asterion, and the Great Spider, but also introduced the audience to the character of Lilith, the Guardian of Darkness. The whole show was completely free, which is no surprise given how many satanic references this thing carried. Okay, this time, finally, Boston Dynamics has released another Halloween video, and it's a lot scarier than the Atlas robot in a hot dog costume. Who's making all of these for them? Send us your guesses, and we'll let you know if you're in the red or in the green. There's more, but we're out of time, so subscribe to the channel, like our videos, and check out our Instagram for more from the world of high tech. Yeah.